Looks like Chidori still ain't back yet. I get it's her own fault for running off on her own, but she's still one of us, you know? We gotta help her somehow. Don't be impatient, Jin. If she hasn't yet freed herself, that must mean her evoker was taken. Our first objective must be to retrieve it. It would mean nothing to free Chidori without it. For us, our persona is as precious as our very lives. We should wait for an opportunity. They've found their own navigator, their own set of eyes. Without Chidori, we'd only be playing into their hands. Yeah, you're right, Takaya. Sorry I lost my cool there for a second. But what are we gonna do? They took down that shadow during the last full moon like it was nothing. If they got someone who can predict our moves, it'll be hard to catch them off guard. <sighs> yes, that's true. By the way, what is that thing? It looks like some kind of clunky evoker. This is one of the first evokers ever developed. I suppose you could call it a prototype. Oh, that's right. You've never seen this before, have you, Jin? <laughs> this was truly a terrible piece of work. In exchange for drawing out the full extent of a persona's latent power, the cost is that they become exceedingly difficult to control, especially for those who had their power forced upon them, like ourselves. To a persona that has lost control, the user is but a shackle. In those days, it was more commonplace to be killed by our own personas than by the shadows. This was the result of one such killing. I am a shadow, the true self. <laughs> Regardless, I'm not one to dwell on the past. So, that's why you don't use an evoker? Hardly. The real reason is far more practical. I don't use one because I have no need. I don't require something as inelegant as a tool to prove my resolve. You really are something special, Takaya. Yet, there is always someone out there who is even greater. Such as... One who can wield multiple personas. Ah, am I feeling... Attachment for someone? Impossible. <laughs> 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 really going crazy. The guy? <sighs> Such a thought is beneath me. What do you think, Yamagishi? Do you sense anything? No. <sighs> By refusing to speak, you're only hurting yourself. We aren't trying to keep you hostage. We just want to avoid unnecessary confrontation. How's Shidori? You're back again. Why are you so hung up on her, Junpei? Did she say anything? Not a word. Let me talk to her. Yori, you're getting really emotionally invested in this. Is everything all right? Well, I know she attacked me. But I don't know. I, I just can't get her out of my head. Please, let me do this. Call for desperate measures, I suppose. All right, see if you can get through to her. Got it. You okay? <sighs> I'm glad they let you keep your sketchbook. Wow, you're still drawing pictures? Even in the hospital? You really do like to draw, huh? It doesn't matter. She spoke to him. Only I can understand my drawings. Wait, Chidori, you're on. It's bleeding. Duh, not again. Yamagishi, get the doctor. All right. 
it. What happened? Why are you bleeding? She does it to herself. I thought I took all these sharp objects in here. She did this to herself? Apparently, we can't leave her unattended for even a moment. But at the very least, she seems to heal at an astonishing rate. Let go of me! Then, that cut on your hand back at the station, you did that to yourself? I never asked for you to worry about me. You were the one who jumped to conclusions. Well, I want you to stop. You can't be doing that. I'm not just saying this because I'm worried about you. I don't want to see you hurting yourself. All right? Just close your eyes, bro. The doctor will be here soon. You should head back. Right. So, you seem to have found your voice. <sighs> She's like, but I ain't talking to y'all. Don't call me that. Hey, come on, lighten up. Here, I brought you a new sketchbook. I thought your old one might be getting full. I don't remember asking you to do that, Junpei. Sorry. <laughs> you finally called me by my name. I wasn't sure if you'd ever say it again. She finally started talking, but she hasn't said anything useful so far. Well, it's a start. More of a response than we got from her. So, why are you here? <coughs> Shidori? What's wrong? Uh, uh, uh. Is that her persona choking her? What is that? There's something right there. An enemy? Wrong. Move. <gasps> Shinori! Relax. The persona just went berserk. It happens. It happens? Weren't you guys watching? You could see her persona strangling her for a second. They're not like us. They can't fully control their personas. That's why they need to take suppressants to keep their personas from killing them. Suppressants? Wait, do you know something about Strega? Some things you only pick up stepping off the straight and narrow. I'll give the duck the meds I have. The rest is up to you. Shinji, wait, hey! Uh, I, Junpei? You're gonna die. What do you mean? Why do you look so scared? Death is nothing to be afraid of. What are you talking about? Dying just means you won't wake up tomorrow. That's all. What the hell are you saying? You don't really mean that, do you? Junpei? I don't want that. You hear me, Chidori? I don't want you to die. Junpei. It doesn't matter if you're not free. It's not the point. I don't want to have to live in a world without you. <laughs> you're so weird, Junpei. <laughs> Look who's talking. Dave, wait! Shinji! What the hell's going on? Why did you have those suppressants? <sighs> I've heard about what they do. They're taken to rein in a persona when the user can't control it. But the side effects... <sighs> You're not taking them, are you? <sighs> 
after me! We don't have to tell you shit. Why are you always like this? Save it. I've heard it all before. You think I'm wasting my power. You can't stand the sight of someone so half-assed, right? I'm sick of your damn preaching. <sighs> Shit. You don't understand it all. You should already know. Ten years ago, when the orphanage burned down, I couldn't save my sister. Back then, I wasn't strong enough to get past the adults holding me back to even try. <sighs> That's why I try so hard. I thought you felt the same way. We promised each other to become strong enough to do what we think is right. So why? Why'd you start taking those drugs without telling me? I'm back in the fight now. I have no reason to suppress my persona anymore. So just let it go. Damn it. <laughs> and the side effects? Hmm. There's something I need to take care of. It's something only I can do. I gotta take responsibility. What do you mean? Listen. Quit worrying about me. Just they do lies. what you think is right. Got that? But, uh, so there's something bothering me lately. Why did Aragaki Senpai suddenly decide to come back? Not sure. Yeah. Well, he looks scary, but he doesn't look like the type who'd rejoin just because he likes to fight. Ah, so he got like ulterior motives. But they said we still can't give you back your evoker. I wasn't expecting them to. That's why I'm in here in the first place. Oh yeah, uh, how's that cut doing? Ah, right. Probably healed already, huh? So, uh, you're not drawing today? Does it matter? Well, uh, not really. Huh, your flowers wilted. Uh, the heat must have got to them. Oh, I know. Why don't I go buy you some fresh ones? What's your favorite kind of... Hey. What's wrong? <sighs> what the heck? Huh? Flowers? Those are cut flowers, right? Whoa. How'd you do that? I gave them a little bit of my energy. Damn. I didn't know your healing powers could do stuff like that. It's like a miracle or something. It's nothing special. You have powers too, don't you? This is no. just another form they can take. Personas well, don't count. Yeah, I guess. But that's about all I've got going for me. Without this power, I'd be a nobody. I just talk a big game, pretending like I'm some kind of hero. But in reality, I don't know what the hell I'm fighting for. Y'all, he's but talking too much, right? I don't even really have a good reason to live. A good reason to live? Good reason. When I was a kid, I had this silly dream. A dream? I used to want to grow up to be a pro baseball player. Pretty stupid, huh? But I guess that's part of being a kid. I wouldn't really know. I don't remember much from my childhood. I only remember one thing. Being surrounded by white. Everything was white. That's kind of racist, but okay. Hmm. I hate hospitals. Oh. You do. Um. Sorry. But you've been coming to see me here. So, I don't mind as much this time. Shidori. Did you mean it? Then I'll come to see you every day. They make him progress, okay, okay. Hi, it's 
been a while. Has it though? Three seasons have passed since we met. Time goes by so quickly. And in that time, many things change. But at the same time, some things in this world will always remain the same. Don't you agree? I see. If that's what you say, then it must be true. Talking with you has stirred up certain memories. Like that tower, for one. It's been on my mind a lot lately. I wonder, will our relationship stay the same? Or will it evolve? <laughs> no matter what the future holds, you and I will always be friends. That much is certain. Alrighty. Well, you want his friendship, dude? We're ranking up faster than I'll see you again. <laughs> and that's our own Arcana. We had very this ominous weather, so the day. we left school and here we are. The opportunity presents itself. That doesn't concern me. Now, let's be off. I understand one of my group has caused you some trouble. Is she in good health? It must be difficult looking after her. After all, you likely can't rein her in for very long. Or could it be you've already killed her? Why would we do that? So you're keeping her alive. Then I take it you've had to use the suppressants, as I'd expect from Kirijo's resourcefulness. You now have someone with first-hand experience among your number as well. If you already know about the suppressants, that simplifies things. Can you imagine it? A Persona user murdered by their other half. Such is the fate of a Persona that has gone berserk. As you have already seen for yourself. This power of ours is not meant to be wielded by just anyone. That holds true even for those who were awakened by force. It comes at a great cost, and we can only harness it by walking the line between life and death. This power makes us who we are. And yet, you hold the ability to wield so many. The Dark Hour has graced you with its favor, almost unjustly so from our perspective. Hey, just go hey. Now, we can ask you, don't you think it'd be a shame for you to lose such a special power? You stubbornly cling to that sentiment. Sure you have do. No intention of understanding anything, choosing to turn a blind eye towards your own power, to the grief of the fallen, the unchosen, the unloved. Such app such insolence you trample upon everything we stand for and worst of all your rejection of my mm. you tread upon your gifts like dirt and in doing so reveal your own arrogance it disgusts me i see now that nothing will change your mind if our beliefs are at odds with each other and neither side is willing to concede then a battle is unavoidable. Hmm. Our final confrontation will come in our own time. You have been blessed with a power greater than any other, and yet you don't see its true value. <sighs> Such a shame. Quite make it, huh? According to the news, a typhoon just hit. Apparently, it's the biggest one on record. 
It's moving slowly too, so it'll be gloomy for a while. Yeah, thanks to that, the school festival got canned. Well, less work for us in the end, I guess. Still sucks that we'll be stuck indoors for vacation, though. So, what you gonna do over break? Uh, yeah, I forgot we have one. Seriously? Dude, you're killing me here. What about you, Fuka? Me? The only thing I plan to do is go to the movies. Ooh, a movie? Do you have a date? It's not like that. I'm going with Natsuki-chan. We actually talk about movies all the time. But with this typhoon, I don't know if we'll make it. How about you, Yukatan? Still gonna have practice? Hmm? I don't know. The archery range is outside, so it's most likely canceled until the storm blows over. Same here. This stupid typhoon is gonna mess up my training. You gotta be booked, right, Kurijo senpai I'm not sure yet. Why are you so curious about our business, Iori? Oh, me? Well, I'd be happy to tell you about my plans. I suspect that you will be visiting Chidori-san. Although she is in stable condition now, we still can't release her. Man, Aichan, you must be psychic. And you know what? She even told me she wants me to come. Oh, man! I can't believe she said that. So I figured I should probably check up on her. You know, with the storm and all. Mm-hmm. What's with him? Why is he all excited? Um, well... You don't know either, huh? Um... Oh, Amada-kun! What are your plans during the break? Oh, I'm not really doing anything in particular. Come on, you gotta be doing something. Oh, I'll probably go visit the shrine. Dude, you're a kid, not an old man. I always go to pray, though. I guess you could say, I have a wish I want granted. <sighs> anyway, I'm going back to my room. I've got a lot of homework to do. Oh. Okay, just holler if you get stuck, yeah? So something weird kind of happened. Like, after that it says that we're tired, and we're normally not tired. So now we gotta lay down. I don't think I can stay awake any longer. Okay. I've been waiting for you. It's been quite some time since I last summoned you in your dreams. Several seasons have come and gone since I first offered you my assistance. Now then, your persona abilities. Have you been using them wisely? Been using them decently. To be direct, I sense a great catastrophe in your future. But it would be a pity to lose one with such potential as yourself. Therefore, please allow me to provide you with a new form of assistance. I will unlock further secrets of fusion previously unrevealed to you. Oh, snap. I'm certain that you will find this to be of great benefit. Oh, uh, yeah. New combination been added to special fusion. That's why we felt sick. You must be tired. <laughs> Please rest easy until we meet again. Farewell. See, but the thing that sucks is that we still have like the the level requirement for these personas when we try to summon them. Seems I slept for a long time. It appears the typhoon has passed through the window. The sky looks clear. I feel refreshed. Today is respect for the age day. The holiday lasts until the 23rd. Okay. Whatever that means for me. Looks like we got some after school program stuff going on. Um, I'll just show you guys up here because I kind of like skipped through it, but they have festival stuff to do. And so she made groups and whatnot. And so that's how we're here with uh, Kenji and uh, the tr track dude. 
Roger that. Got it. Hmm, I guess this was the photography club's display. <laughs> Look, we got a pretty good picture of you. Whoa, the guy who took first looks pretty suntan. That's high, I say. It's crazy fast. Of course, it's only a matter of time until I take him down. <laughs> You've already got him beat in the sweaty department. I swear I've never seen you without your gym clothes. Then again, maybe you're the smart one here. Just walking around is enough to work up a sweat these days. Hey, you guys can jabber all you want, but at least keep things moving. At this rate, we'll be here all day. Uh, sorry, Takeba. My bad. Hey, it's got you all worked up. Nothing. Jeez. Oh, he's crushing on her, huh? Yo, I brought the tools and stuff. The nail puller, tape, and, uh... If you require a drill, I have one installed. Cool. Thanks, guys. Wait, hang on. Where's the bubble wrap, Iori? Bubble wrap? Oh, right. We gotta pack stuff up. Uh... Good call, man. You should go get it. You know where they keep that stuff, right? Well, yeah, but you're the one who forgot to grab it. Oh, are you sure you don't want to go? That place is like a paradise, you know? Some fine chicas there would be just your type. Uh, what? No way. Are you serious? Give me the details, man. Ahem. I believe I asked you all to hurry it up so we could go home. Oh, uh, sorry, Yukatan. Man, talk about an ace directive. I heard that. Jeez, how stupid can you be? Junpei? More like stupid. Damn. I'm getting deja vu. Fine, I'll go to the supply room later. Still, it's a real shame the culture festival fell through. There were so many cool events I was looking forward to, like the stand-up comedy duos. They said it was going to be open mic, so I was planning on trying it out. Oh, really? With who? You. Oh. Hmm. Wait, me? You're going to just push me on stage without even saying anything? I'm just messing with you. It was actually Miyamoto. Who, me? Help another joke. Chill out, guys. I'll do it with you, then. Pause. Now that's the spirit. Why don't we show these guys what we've got? <clears throat> Hello out there, everyone. We're the famous comedy duo, Kenji Tomachika. 